Okay, finished the fire, finer, final wiring in. So here's Steve and Lily, uh, sailor and can drink rum and all that kind of stuff. Aye, aye, Captain. And uh, so, Stephen, how would you operate the uh, tilt there? The drive leg is down. So I guess we, we would like to put it up? Yep. Well, okay. Let's try up. Up goes the, line goes the hydraulic pump. Hydraulic fluid goes down through these nice cables, down through the drain of the cockpit. And you're up all the way. You're up all the way. Okay, and then we come out back here, and I dive into the water. Oh, Jesus, gravel, look at that, eh? Okay, and uh, there's the drive leg, and as you will see, there is no more old-fashioned lifting mechanism or mechanical lock on that. Instead, we have this cylinder off a Merc Cruiser, so there's a custom yoke machined, which I made anyway because I didn't like the metallurgy in the other ones. It's got a connection, uh, yeah, Steve, no, you're gonna model again, don't worry. Um, and uh, so this uh, pin right here in this attachment, stainless steel attachment, and look at that, and there's the end of a hydraulic cylinder on there, and that cylinder is a Merc Cruiser tilt and trim cylinder. And it's attached to the underside of the bridge deck by a 10 inch by 10 inch plate with epoxy. 3,000 PSI plus epoxy, so about 300,000 pounds there. Should be able to rip the uh, boat apart with that before it fails. And uh, yeah, stainless steel pin in the end. Uh, you can see there's a stainless steel line. Those are Merc Cruiser lines. Standard stuff, although bent to because they kind of go backwards. Merc Cruiser, the uh, thing plumbed into the stern. This thing kind of comes away opposite direction. So those tubes have been bent a little bit, the hard part of the tubes. And then the, the nice stainless steel braided flex line. And the end of it took the flare fittings off, put compression fittings on there, and then up to a stainless steel line and our custom made brackets that hold the line onto the transom underneath and then ran them straight down to the cockpit drain. That's all of about a foot and a half run, but then they come straight back, just figured ever in the odd time they ever hit anything underneath the uh, boat, um, and that would take the brunt of it. And uh, there's a cover plate, and I have, it's not on there yet. You can see those four studs for an angled cover plate uh, that'll just deflect the wave action. Not that it's going to hurt those things are designed to be immersed. But uh, anyway, then again, that's if I hit anything, I'd rather deflect off rather than bang the end of the cylinder. Um, and that's it. So, Stephen, okay, why don't you uh, take our system down for us here? So, simple press the switch right next to the steering wheel. And click, and away we go. And, uh, hey, Steve, you want to take us back up? Sure. That's all there is to it. And that's it. Okay.